Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more Beyond Two Souls. Uh, last episode, we were infiltrating for an assassination on the Somalian president, which actually was trying to keep the peace, and we got tricked by the CIA to do their dirty laundry. And now... To the next one. Old friends. Alright, so we're gonna start right back after the ranch. Alright. young woman you've become just as pretty as ever no sad and lost like the first time I saw you I can't even imagine how much I missed you and how's Iden <laughs> oh yeah uh, good to see you too buddy walk with me oh yeah oh, Iden <laughs> Aiden, Aiden. I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Coal experiments. Sweet. How's Nathan? Uh, oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. Oh. Military. You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding. On the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, I could understand that. What I talked to you about? Find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Father, Nora, uh, father. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. Okay. He died before birth. Oh. Heart failure. Uh, That's all I could find. Where? Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. Oh, damn. Which hospital? My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted oh. by every law enforcement agency in the country. You Aiden. won't be able to walk right in. Aiden, do it. Can do it. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Uh-oh. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Aww. Thanks, Cole. Hey. Oh. 
You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? Oh. Well, come on, pal. The more the merrier. St. John's Hospital. I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 months. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Oh. Dang it. Cole. Don't you get yourself in trouble now. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Alright. First stop. Before we go any further. Assess the situation. Come to see Nora Gray? Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Fucking guy. Well, how about I make you give me that authorization? Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. That was an alarm, but apparently it calls the elevator. All right, sounds good. So far, so good. <laughs> He's used to the power of Great. first. <laughs> kind of figured, but... Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Far away.
wiki. <laughs> he knocked himself out. Thank you for the key card. Insane asylum. Or a, a mental hospital. Look, like, look at this beautiful garden in the middle. I found it, Jody. Oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> Jody, I'm here. Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Well, you know what? Going in. Going in anyway. Mother? Real mother? Mom, it's me. Judy. Oh. She's brain dead. She's like in a coma. And your daughter? be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger, quickly! Please! Get the baby oh, out of here! Please! Let me see her! Oh. Oh, my God. Please! 
Well, she may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my fault. Um not not really. You're a byproduct of the reason, but you're not your fault. Oops. Don't be hard on yourself, girl. What I did. What are you trying to show me? <clears throat> Destroy this thing, Aiden! Destroy it now! Subconscious. Oh, uh, yeah. The subconscious. It's not real. I was so afraid. I would let never see you. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Oh. Well, at least she's spoken there. Subconscious. Touch her. She's there. How good. Oh, no. Tell the panda. This game just oof, plays with your emotions, let me tell ya. No, I don't. Let her rest. Let it be the end. Peace. Oh, I'm sorry, Jody. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I was not expecting that. Man, what a tragedy! What a choice. Choked her heart out. God damn. Snow globe. It's the snow globe from before. Oh 
persist. Oh, it's Nathan. That's his wife and daughter. That's his office. Oh, oh I print. I don't have that. God damn, Nathan. Oh, actually, you know what? Nathan? Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. A lot. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. You have no idea how much. Please have, have a seat. How do you I feel? Have so much to talk. <laughs> um, I've been better. That mm -hmm. hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. Yeah. Uh, Cole, CIA. Nora. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Tell me the truth. Come on. Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Oh. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. I want the truth. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? Good question. So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. I am a bitter. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? Hmm. What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra-world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Oh. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. God damn it. Electrical panel. Mm. 
Briefing. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Great. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Uh, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infant world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Yeah. Team will... Team? Show them in, Marla. Okay. Interesting. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The oh, mission geez. begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Oh, Nathan. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Nathan. You're like a father to me, and I guess I'm like a daughter to you. Please don't betray me, because so far, everyone has. It's good to see you. Almost. Cold, aggressive, curt. Uh, distant. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Jody, I... Is... You know what? Don't even try. Yep. Well, hey, man, you like, you like big time. All right. Okay. Okay. Wow. I grew tired of all this. Yeah. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Oh. Hey, Dan. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Uh, where are you? Hey, Danny. Alright. What's going on? What's up with all the test It's completely deserted! Right, you sure it's here? We're right Seven. on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Fucking 
treason! What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days, walking on ice, eating uh, snow, for nothing. Fuck! Find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Dude, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Find something, and we won't make it through the night. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? It, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. Uh, You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. Yeah, uh, but let's I can live with you, but I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Okay. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. All right. Let's go. Let's follow them.
Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Loading crates into, into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Rid of them. One, two, third one. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? We're taking a submarine, that's all we're doing. We're taking the last one available. What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. Ho 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 ho! Shit's going down. It's a two-seater, but there's plenty of room for everyone. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've known that from the start. Oh. Keep dying.
diving. The base shouldn't be far. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Oh. Oh, oh for him. Your hair is Perhaps as long as I you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Uh-oh. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. You say nothing, you hear me? I don't know. I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. Again. What is your name? That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. That's an eyeball. That's an eyeball, isn't it? This is so unnecessary. You lost an eye. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Oh. Answer. I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. An urgent request demands my attention. Ha! I won't talk. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. Yeah, conversation. Yeah, totally a conversation. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll figure something out. Well, just swing it. We got this. Find the condenser before they realize something's up. like it. Jody! Jody, what's happening? What's happening? Ah, that's how we got done. Get up! One button! Let them go! We need to ask them! Okay. Yeah. 
gun. And now with the gun, I can kill everyone in this room. Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You crazy? Well, Jody, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. It's too late, Jody. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. You go. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. That was the wrong way.
everything. Scared, I didn't. Stay close, okay? Yes. I've got your back. I always have your back. Light on this thing. Keep calm, Biden. to die here with me. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you stupid American bitch! I know what this is! It's a portal to hell! 
Years of work! All for nothing! I guess. Because, you know, how, how did I Come get back. on when I was uh, unconscious? Come back. Fuck. Come on, Joey. Don't die, huh? Don't die. Don't die. Aiden, 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 do something. Dragon's Hideout. All right, that was that was a fun chapter. Uh, how did I get on the submarine? Mm, he must have dragged me on. I don't know. Um, also, I think we'll end things here. Uh, this has been a pretty long episode. So um, I guess if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more in the future, don't forget to subscribe as well. And uh, with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Sabo out.